part of the Baxter Agreement, the Joint Development Authority promised in order to get them here to pay up to $7.9 million for a pre-treatment facility. Now, this is a facility that will treat the effluent coming out of the plant before it is given into the public system. It is required because the chemical they use at Baxter is uh, it's too high basically to go in the public sewer system as such because they don't have specific treatment regimes in place for it until it's pre-treated first. This plant will uh, cost $7.9 million. Uh, they've been trying to arrange how to work it out to get it financed for some time. The governor has come forward with $2 million in a pure grant that's going to be given to the Joint Development Authority for this particular facility. So it gets it down to a cost of $5.9 million. What is being proposed is the $5.9 million come from a GFA loan, Georgia Environmental Finance Authority loan, that uh, the governor is also arranging. Uh, the loan terms are shown on the last page of the Intergovernmental Contract in your packet. <coughs> it's a little chart basically shows you how it works financially. But basically what it does is provide for 0% interest until the facility is completed. When the facility is completed, it's hard for accruing 1.8% interest, which will last for the rest of the term of the loan. It's set up on a 30-year amortization basis. Uh, there is a delay period on any payments until the Baxter begins production and re revenue for taxes begin to flow. So essentially, under the terms of the intergovernmental contract and the loan documents, there will not be any cash flow required from Jasper County until such time as the plant opens and we'll begin to tax it. Uh, from a practical standpoint, at that point, we're responsible for our share of the total payment. In other words, we'll make a payment to Joint Development Party, which will put all the county's payments together. They'll make a payment on the GF loan. We are not the primary obligor on the GF loan. None of the counties are. We're simply guaranteeing it for the uh, Joint Development Authority, who is a borrower on the loan. Have I got you well confused about all this? Our part would be the 10%. 10% of the 5.9. Of, of the whole amount, I guess. And in, and in interest. All counties are responsible? Yes, sir. And if one of those counties defaults? Uh, you got full faith and credit against the... Essentially, when the county guarantees payment of something, anything... You commit as a part of the package to commit up to one percent of your uh, one mill of tax towards the payment of it. And that happens on many intergovernmental agreements. So essentially, you're responsible for it. You're going to have to pay that tax revenue. Okay. So and the FIFA has the right to make you pay. You can't default. There, there's effectively no default because you have to you have to pay it out of your tax revenue by agreement. So there will not be any payment made from any county until. The plan open and start receiving the tax. That's correct. They negotiated into the agreement, my understanding, and from what I've been told and watched through the paperwork, they have negotiated that even if the plan is late in opening, the payments will continue to not be made until it opens. However, it will accrue interest from the time the plan is completed. And the interest rate remained at 1.8% through the life of the loan with 0% during construction. Anticipating just for your information, it'll take about two years to actually construct the plan. But it will be constructed before 2018. Yes, sir. Well, well in advance of that, Jeremy. <coughs> the two documents you're asked to approve it basically takes the resolution. The resolution itself approves the intergovernmental contract if you have a copy of any of all the other counties, except Jesper, have already approved. It's already been unanimously approved by the other three counties. All right, you heard the request. What's the motion? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Mr. Chairman, I'd offer a motion that, uh, that uh, we approve this as presented. Uh, knowing it's additional money, but knowing that there's a zero owed against it until 2018 at this time uh, revenue will be coming in to, to pay that. Motion on the Is there a second to uh, Mr. Trumbull's motion? Is there a second? 
I'll second for discussion. Thank you. Saying here it's expected, this is expected to start 2018. Okay, it's the sooner of January 1st of 2020. Does that mean even if there is delay starting in 2020, we're going to start making payments? Uh, my understanding is it won't go past 2020 now. I do understand there's, this is an ongoing project, obviously, the whole Jordan Development Authority project is. Frankly, don't take this as a promise, but they're anticipating substantial sales of property out there during an interim time period. There's been a lot of behind-the-scenes industry interest. Uh, I was talking to the development guy over in Newton County last week, and they've had over, over 20 new industries that have initiated discussions with the North Development Authority and our, our Chamber of Commerce over in Newton County. So from a practical standpoint, this loan will probably be paid off out of revenue from the sale of property. However, if it's not paid off, the counties are fully responsible for it, and you need to understand that. And that property current value is about a million and a half, a million three quarters. Yes, sir. They expect them more of it. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's a fairly substantial project that's still in the ground now, but basically the Baxter's not the whole thing by a long shot. So this is an ongoing process. It's taken 10 years to get to this point. I, I guess my question, we won't know what kind of money we're talking as far as payments until... The worst case scenario is it'll be 1.8% interest on $5.9 million amortized just like a house loan, 30 years. Okay. And we'll have 10% of that. Yes, sir. So we can just do the math and that's what we'll know. <coughs> I'll pay it today. Uh, and from the numbers that have been provided to us from the Development Authority, it'll be substantially less than what the African County will collect from taxation. Any further points of concern? Then none. All in favor of that motion. By Commissioner Trample, second by Lee. Show by the raise of hand. Passion.